I'm fucking dumped. I'm fucking dumped. Oh yeah, I really am. Do you want to know why? You know all those locked doors that I've been having trouble because I can't bash down? I've been having trouble with? Yeah, you know. I've only got a fucking pass portal here. Unlock doors. This is why you don't have breaks playing games. This is why you need to keep playing. You forget otherwise. <sighs> yeah, we'll be going back to that um, burial glen, won't we? <clears throat> yes, we will. Probably a bunch of other doors that I haven't been able to open as well, hasn't there? That I forgot. <clears throat> anyway, welcome back to Nethergate. Most of the ruins furnishings... Oh, by the way, it's the 13th of November now. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. It's probably November again by the time you're seeing this. No, probably even later. I don't know. Uh, anyway, many, most of the ruins furnishings have been removed, but this huge stone beehive oven still remains. You inspect it closely and notice it has lettering carved in the top and sides. Perhaps the oven is enchanted somehow. What? Enchanted oven? Well, that'll save on the electricity bill, won't it? Or the gas? You look at the writing, but you can't make any sense of it. You've never heard of a spell being cast on an oven. Discouraged, you leave it behind. Well, I don't want to. What if I want to have a look at it? Oh, never mind then. Oh. Although these halls are mostly empty now, nobody's bothered to remove this enormous black cast iron kettle. It's dirty and old and a little bit rusty, but you notice it has small letters cast in it around the tip. The lip, I mean. You bend down, squint, and examine the letters. Fortunately, your knowledge of fairy lore is sufficient to decipher them. Or do I need more fairy lore to decipher the oven? I'm going to put some points into it in a sec. This must be a magical kettle. You've heard of this sort of thing. The fairies could create cornucopias. Oh yeah, enchanted sources of infinite, bounteous, delicious food. The writing is the spell that you can use to, to activate the pot. You think, if you're careful, you could cast the spell, do you? Yeah? You wave your hands, rub the pot, and cast the spell. Unfortunately, in the centuries the thing has been sitting here, the spell seems to have gone a little funny. Instead of stew, the bowl fills with foul, smelly liquid. Ugh. Piss. The odour from the slurry makes you gag. You bend over. Double. You bend over double. Alright. Retching and twitching. You feel awful. I don't know. It's not giving me another thingy for the... For the oven. Right, we're not going in there then, are we? No, I don't cast the spell again. The malicious, ugly stew pot is still there, and the spell is still potent. You could try to cast it again. You might get it right this time. Who knows what wondrous things the pot could make if you could get it to work. Go on, then. No. <laughs> right, never mind that, then, eh? We don't want any smelly stew. <sighs> Headphone adjustion. That lasts years. Oi! Oh, it doesn't actually kill you by the look of it. Now we gotta. Wait, where's all the mana gone? Hang on. Hang on a moment. Where's all the mana gone? What? I guess it stole my mana too. Luckily, you can just cheese it. Yeah, you know, let's just not do it. You just load it and get all your stuff back. Yes. Illegal. Illegal gameplay right there. Oh. Oh look, a locked door. Hmm. What are we gonna do about this, huh? Oh my god, who could have imagined? Right, what have we got? We got a bit of a poison elixir. Doesn't that just that just poisons you? I'll sell it. Emptiness brew, that's not even worth it. Energy elixir, isn't that a good one? Yeah, 100 points instead of 50. Who wants that, eh? Why well, has no one got any? Here you go, Bob. You can have it. Take one for the team, or whatever. No, don't. That's when, that's when something bad happens to you. Like, instead of all, oh, instead of someone else. What is that creature? It's a slug. It's dead now. 
A wand of bolts. Imagine using that. Oh, I'll probably sell that. Damaged boots. Damaged shield. Torque. Yep, dosh dosh for my sash. And a load of nothing. Squish. 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 And finally. Nothing. And fine. Oh, the way down. Was I done up here? Mm, no. But that's probably ev oh, that's probably everything that's here. I would imagine. Yeah. Get rid of that webbage. Right here we are under ruined hall. How are things going to go down here, eh? You enter the passages under the ruins. It's very dark, cold, and slimy. Oh yes. It's not quiet, however. You can hear the quiet chattering of strange beings in the darkness. You're the first humans to be down here in many, many years. Yeah, whatever. What if we're not humans, eh? Do you have create light? No, Bob just does everything, really, doesn't he? Yeah? Okay, what we got? Anything dodgy going on down here? It's just normal rocks? Yeah. Yes, indeed! Would there be an empty room? Yes, apparently. Oh. Oi. Oi. Don't you just hate it, how the letters change? I was just trying to quickly get rid of all the webs for no particular reason. Let's see. Nope. No, that ain't worth it. No, none of this is. Oh! Oh! Okay, that doesn't hurt. It's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, is that a dead body right there? It is. What you got for me? Oh, leather armor. Is that any good? Well, if it is, it's the only good thing you've got. Eight, five, oh. No, it isn't, then. Wait, what do these give? Ten. So, yeah, no. In fact, is it even worth taking? Fifty for fifteen. I don't know, that'll be a, a drop candidate if I ever run out of space and can't be asked to go back out. Squish. Squish. Not again. Yes again. Or guess again. You cut open one of the sacks and find out what happens when you leave some grain sitting around in a basement for a few centuries. Not very appetizing. At least the rats weren't at it. What do you mean at least? What does it matter to me if the rats got at it or not? Oh, they're all crap. What about the barrels in the Cronra? You peek inside the amphorae. They're empty, except for some pinkish dust. The wine evaporated a few centuries ago. Wine doesn't evaporate, it gets better with age. You enter an ancient stone hall, the first large chamber in these catacombs. As you walk inside, you interrupt a family of huge spiders. Oh no. This will be difficult, won't it? <laughs> Who were busily dining on a mummified giant rat. It looks like these tunnels are in need of a good stiff pest extermination session. Well, good job I'm here. It also looks like you'll have to begin here. The spiders immediately drop their tasty rat and move forward in search of fresher prey. What do you mean in search of? Here I am. Yep. Yeah, you know. Into the meat grinder. Poor fur. That's not even worth it really, is it? Anything nice for now that is worth it. What five? Right, anything in the walls? There's probably all sorts of wall secrets that I've never found before. Like right there. Is that rats now? You didn't have to go far for a fresher meal. Just go outside the door. These caves look familiar. Even though they haven't been occupied for many, many years, you recognize the cozy subterranean squalor squalor of a goblin lair. Oh, not again. 
It's the same enemies for the whole game. You listen and hear nothing but the echoing of dripping water and some loud squeaking. Wait! Look at this. I hope we're all getting experience when I kill them like that. Probably. Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a bat. How did a bat survive where a rat could not? Bats aren't more defensive. Maybe. You find the somewhat fresh body of a dead giant rat. It's covered with burns. Someone blasted it with fire very recently. Looks like you aren't the only warriors poking around in the darker parts of Shadow parts of Shadowvale. Oh, so basically what you're telling me is you lied when you said that we're the first humans who have been down here in a long time. Then? Great, thanks. The game is a lying bastard. This is so easy. I like that you don't have to enter battle mode to kill an enemy. It's rather nice, really, isn't it? Oh! What was that? Oh no, it blehooed me. Get rid of it. In fact, heal me as well while you're at it. Coot. This seems wayish. Wayish. Oh yeah. How dare you chase? How are we all wear hood? There weren't any wear hood sounds. Go on, get rid of it. You might as well. It does only cost however much it costs. How much does it cost? Two, actually. I was expecting one. Oops. Well, now I've just wasted two points right there. Oh well. Anyone in here? What is that? Big rock. A big cock. Oh. oh, apparently I just killed something. I was just trying to walk up here and check the wall. Actually. <laughs> Never mind, maybe it isn't way to go-ish. They seem to link up, actually. Oh! In fact, it's way back-ish. Boing! Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get the crap out of here. I want to get up there. Well, I can't. Must be able to somehow. Maybe we end up there at some point on this journey. Oh dear, is this trustable? I don't really think so. But we're going to have to have a look, aren't we? Is there a way? I don't know. It doesn't look like it will circle around back to that. Whatever. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to cross over. Oh my god, you've been assaulted by a novel. You start to cross the narrow walkway, taking care to keep away from the edges. It's quite a drop. Suddenly, the silence of these tunnels is rudely interrupted. Translucent, howling spirits rise out of the chasm. Chasms howling and screeching. They fly around you, waving their arms, sometimes rushing you and flying away at the last moment. They're ghosts. Ghosts of the tribesmen slain on this isle. Well, this island's huge. Um, at first, you're terrified. The spirits of the dead usually intend nothing but ill will for the living. Ill will. That's a decent little FPS right there, without the space in it. Um, you soon realise, however, that these spirits are different. They hover around you, watching you carefully. Each swooping shade looks at you, seems to approve, and then descends into the chasm once again. Soon, each has inspected you and left. Satisfied, you're alone on the bridge. What? You feel as if some of the dead have selected you as their champion. It's a sobering feeling. One thought stays with you as you continue to cross the bridge. You pity any one the spirits don't like who tries to pass. wonder if there's a way they can't let you pass or something. I don't think I've particularly done anything to make myself worthy, have I? Create light. Yes. 
Oh, oh what have I found? Not a lot. What? What's the point of that? I don't know. Well, we better kill those, haven't we? Hadn't we just? Oi! Here, have a serpent's fang of some sort. And all die as a result. No? No? Why are they not kill? There you go. Took you a while. Can't even reach their stuffage. Yeah, I don't know what the point of that little shortcut was, or whatever you want to call it. Cool, an alternate way over there, I guess in case you don't want to fight those. Is that a basilisk? Yeah, that's a giant lizard, actually. Oh, where are you going? He's bringing me a box. Oh. Trying to sneak to the back. What is that? Healing elixir. That looks pretty tasty to me. Hammer. No one cares. G. Trash. Especially no one cares. Not a lot around here, is there? Crude leather sling. It's still worth taking, probably. Two for thirty. Boobs. Yeah, sure. Sure. Ring. Just a normal one. Some tools. I mean, lock picks, yeah. That's probably why I like can never remember if tools are actually worth taking in Gene Forge because they look like the lock picks in here in this game. Maybe not though. There probably are some games where tools are worth an amount, and I've probably already played them, as in done playthroughs of them. No, I don't think I'll go that way. I think I'll go down here instead. And have a drink. This is one of the three pools set in the floor of this room. The water sits in a smooth oval depression. Ah, oh, cheer up! In the tile floor. Even though the pool's been here many years, the water is still there. It's not even mouldy. Water doesn't go mouldy. It's fresh and clear. You realise that you're starting to get thirsty. A drink would be nice and refreshing. Obviously one or two of these are going to be crap. You bend down and take a deep, long drink. I'm just going to load it and drink the good one afterwards. Oh. The water is ordinary. It's flat, tepid and uninteresting. You start to walk away disappointed. Then you notice that there's a rock sitting at the bottom of the pool. It's a bit of rose quartz, carefully polished and etched with small symbols. It blended in well with the tiles. You only noticed it when you bent down. Can I have it? Fuck yeah. Break barrier. Now that's what I'm talking about. Is that for the magic barriers? What about the other ones? This is one of the three pools. Oh, the same. You bend down and take a deep, long drink. The water is pleasant. It's cool and slightly sweet. After a little while, you start to feel better. Your bruises and aches fade, and your wounds close up before your eyes. Oh, I didn't get me mana back, did I? Fuck it, sons. Anyway, save it on a different one. Please. But then, this one's gonna be dodge, isn't it? You bend down and take a deep, long drink. The water is clean, sparkling, and invigorating. As you walk away, wiping your face as you start to feel ill. Terribly, terribly ill. Intense stomach cramps double you over. Well, you know what? No! Wait, what was that? It was different. You bend down and take a deep, long drink. Whatever magic the pool possesses, it hasn't yet recharged. It's just water. Nice, clean, clear water. Oh man, it's a good job I didn't drink that third one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, shit, what the fuck was that noise? Demonic cow. This is a beautiful altar. I'll be the judge of that. Underneath all of the dust. It doesn't seem to be enchanted in any way. It's just a big block of lovely carved polished marble. You examine it more carefully. Oi, let me be the decider of that. I don't want to get close. 
You notice that there are several rows of characters carved in the base of the altar. You examine them closely. They're a... They're a chant. What? Which you would suspect might be useful. Oh, characters like symbols, not characters as in people. You can now cast the spell Total Healing. Holy shit, man. Yes, please. Cheers, mate. Marty. Roar. Tomato. Yeah, I never remember if Venari or the other. If, if, if Venari or Coot is the alchemy. Hello? Why am I over here? There's nothing here. Oh, apparently there's a body. Wow. How useful. We even did it without getting bunned. Bundem. I don't know why he was there. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, yeah, I just did that one. There's a barrier that I could... Fuck, if I want to. Oi, what do you mean I didn't manage to attack? Jitterbug. Jitterbug. Yeah, it's crap old music, so don't sing it. What if I go down there? Oh, that might be good. Well, you can get some bones if you want. There's obviously going to be... Oh, yeah. What the? You find a portal. A magical door made of pure energy. Wizards often create them to speed up transportation from one place to another. They're safe, usually. I think I'll step in. Oh, here I am. Oh. What has he done? He's only found the magical land. A quality battle axe. 315 plus 1, 5. Oh. Hmm. I mean, the plus 1, 7 of strength and melee weapons. Strength and spears. Hang on a moment. What do you have? Yeah, less melee weapons. I think I've got melee weapons, yeah. And a lot of strength, so maybe I could use that. Wait, that was that's not me. But yeah. Big strength. As in I wasted points in it because I thought I needed more door bashage. That's alright though, probably would have wanted more strength eventually anyway. Hmm. Strength and melee weapons, eh? Two fourteen one seven. Mm, now that's strength and melee weapons as well. I don't know. It's certainly tempting, but I don't think so. I don't even need to consider them. In fact, they should probably even have lighter weapons. Three fifteen one five. Oh, so, wait, what? 31515 of strength and melee. Oh, that's strength and spears, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think we need it, honestly. Thanks, though. I appreciate the offer. That's a pretty good one. Who have we... The fucking hell was that? What? Guess I'm dead. What the fuck? A, B, C. One, two, three. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Get rid of that bastard, because it killed me. I think I'll just load that, if you don't mind. And probably heal everyone up. Just a little bit. Yeah, in fact, we don't need to do it again. Did I take the axe? What if we can't win this? Oops. Don't be foolish. Squish. You know what then? Can I have some kind of defensiveness? Why have you got no spells? I guess most of them are in battle actually, which makes sense. Um, what? Don't I have some kind of 
Defensive thing. Beast ceremony. Oh, entire party. What? Okay. You can't cast spell when foes are in sight. It takes too long to cast. Oh. Oh, Umbi. Airbnb. Man, if only I'd remembered we have that spell, we probably could have dealt with those wolves that we keep trying. Can't even hit me. Now? Which one am I? Right. The shadowy beast collapses on the ground. What do you mean shadowy beast? Oh, dark spider. Spooky. It immediately begins to dissolve. With a long angry hiss, the foul creature that inhabited its form fades away. Soon all of it is gone except for a dim outline and a strange marking on its forehead. It is a wisp of shadow hanging in mid-air. You feel compelled to reach out and touch it. It becomes a faint grey mark on your palm. Oi! I'll oh, write one of those. Can I hit you from here, yeah? You're gone, then just stay over there like a lazy. D. Delete D. Anything else up here? Why would there be? There wouldn't. Alright, yeah, I guess that was pretty good. I got another bit of that, um, questicle. Do you remember? We're hunting a bunch of creatures or something. I don't really know why. They're not hurting anyone out here. They're just in a cave. What? You just said out here. But they're in a cave. Wait, what? Why are we healing over time? Maybe we're not. Sorry for that noise just there. Now how do I get up there as well? Probably like this, actually. Go on then, we better see some stuff. Whoosh. Right. Probably from somewhere else then. Like over here. Is there any reason to get rid of that barrier? Is there any reason to be in here? Can we? I don't think we can pass portal, can we? I need to get thingy. Coral. Not again. Can we do it? Yes, we might as well. You know. If it's any good anyway. Is that a bunch of druids robes? It is. Are they better than what we have? It's 10. Not better than 33 or 28. Yeah, it's just free dosh then. Is it worth it? Dexterity bracelet, fuck yeah. Talk, ceremonial dagger. 21015. Yeah, you know, she never attacks, and that's 12 pounds instead of 1. So have that instead and get rid of that sword. 315. Yeah, that's fine. Right, who uses dexterity? You, right? Missile weapons, wait, hit more often with melee and missile, and be less likely to be hit. And technically that would be good on these two, wouldn't it? But, but no. What has she got? I you know, just some basic bitch, oh! Never mind, I'll have it actually. I am the main character after all. I'm the one who attacks when we're not, like, in proper combat. 8, 5, 6, 5. Yep, that's one for the selling. Yeah, I guess that was worth it. I'll go with that. A gem well spent. But now how do we get to that top left, Cronra, eh? Because there's clearly more up there. And I want it. I want it. No, I don't. Well, I mean, I guess. If there's any going. But I'm not desperate. Oh, there's a door here that I didn't go in. What we got? 
This room is extremely odd. It's split into two halves. The floor of the north half is gravel and basalt. The floor of the south half is marble tile. The south half is clean, while the north half is scorched and bloodstained. Oh yes, that's a good game. Each half of the room has two platforms made of stone blocks, raised six inches off the floor. You have no idea what they're for. Maybe if you stepped on one, something would happen. <gasps> Will it? I guess we'll have to find out next time, won't we? It's a bit scary, that is. Maybe we're going into the shadow realm. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.